It's your boy Abel Lucas Media. Let's get to it. So George Grove, retired fighter and podcaster, has some interesting things to say about Anthony Joshua having his fourth trainer in the last five fights. Now he did say he was with Derrick James before, and I thought they were doing a great job together. I felt like the process, I felt it felt like a process. So the fact that the relationship breaking down is a bit disappointing because I would like to see where that went. But yeah, Davidson's a good coach. So I like to see if there are any ch- changes. And we're talking about Davidson, talking about Ben Davidson, who's coach Tyson Fury. And I will also pin the article in the comment section below. So let me get my two cents on it. The reason why, in my opinion, why Anthony Joshua keeps changing fighters is because he's not feeling comfortable. I know he had, was it Ben McCracken at one point? Robert McCracken at one point. And then... You know, he lost and it has been a free for all free fall. So Anthony Joshua has a lot of pressure on him. See, when he was winning, he was a he was Europe's darling. Right. He was voted the most marketable athlete at one point. He had all these sponsorship, all these endorsements. He had three to four major belts and he was one of the, the biggest faces of heavyweight boxing. And one of the most highest paid. However, he got beat by Andy Ruiz. And because they end up fighting again and he got his belts back, people overlooked it. But then he lost to Usyk not once but twice, got outboxed, and had that meltdown in the ring. And he feels like those same people who loved him turned on. And what Anthony Joshua doesn't understand is fans are very f- flaky. They praise you one minute, like how they did with Earl Spence, but the minute Earl Spence got beat by Terrence Crawford, they said he was overrated. And he's going through that. And the thing is, Anthony Joshua, in my opinion, mentally, can't take another loss. So he's trying to have different trainers and he got to see was right now they're suggesting it might be because of logistical reasons and i know derrick james has a lot on his plate with ryan garcia and, and earl spence and a bunch of other fighters he has in his stable but anthony joshua i believe his fear and the pressure is getting to him and he's just trying different trainers to see who's what's going to stick what's going to give him the right confidence but while I root for Anthony Joshua, because I like Anthony Joshua. Why I do think he ducked Wilder, and y'all can let me know in the comment section below if I'm tripping. And don't forget to hit the like button too, y'all. Let's let's get these, let's share the likes so we can push it through the algorithm. While I do like Anthony Joshua, I do think that mentally he can't take another loss. He just can't. He can't get over that hump. He's not like Derek Shazora who has a bunch of losses, but he'll fight anybody. Because Joshua was at the highest of the high. Imagine being the highest of the high in, in a handful of fights in, in 2016, 2017, and now by 2024, you're at the bottom. And I think it's, it's a lot of pressure. You know, he said, remember, he had a whole role model, the whole role model image. And he said, forget all that, man. I'm going to speak my mind. And now he's acting all tough. So I think he's just going through a lot, man. But he got to get, you got to get used to taking L's, Anthony, man. The, the thing is, if you take a loss and you come back, the, those same fans will jump back on the bandwagon. Just like Earl Spence. Let Earl Spence win another belt or two. People are like, man, I know he just had an off night with Terrence Crawford, man. He lost too much weight. So that's just my quick opinion. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. The, is, it, is it information that y'all know that I don't know? Share it with me. Let's talk about it in the chat.